All right. Um, Jonathan, get us started. Jonathan Ramakan, Five Reason Sports. You're coming into this fight having a win over the 21 champion in Bruno Capeloza. What does having a win over that champion coming into this playoff format give you as far as confidence goes? Uh, for me, this was the, the biggest win of my career, of course. Everybody knows that. I know this. Uh, but it's the past now, you know. I'm here to play the, to fight the playoffs. I'm still running a million dollars. So this is my thing now, you know. Bruno is my friend. I really like him. Uh, but this is the business. We had to fight. We fight. And that's it. Beautiful. Now, on the other end of the bracket is Ante Delia, someone that you didn't were any, weren't able to pick up a win against last time. If you are able to make it to the finals and match up with him, what would you need to do differently to get the win this time? Uh, man, uh, the future is the future. You know what I mean. I don't want to. I, I don't want to think in the future right now. I have a two. I have one fight in two days against a, a good guy. You know. Uh, I don't want to think of against who are gonna fight in, in another fight. You know. I just want to think now. I don't like to think in the future because I have things to do now. You know. So I have to put my feet on the ground. And just be focused on this fight, you know. Now, last one for me. What message do you have to your fans back home uh, going into this fight? Never give up of your dreams. You know, uh, I was coming off a loss here in, in PFL. Now I'm here. I, I, I fought against the champion. I beat the champion. And I'm here living my dream, you know. Uh, this place, PFL, is a place that dreams come true, you know what I mean? I can change my life, but I never give up of my dreams, you know? So if you want to do something, go do your thing. Hey, man, I appreciate that. Uh, personally, as well as, as well, that being a message to the fans. So good luck this Saturday. Thanks. Miles. Hey, Mateus, hope you're doing well. Miles from the Boogie's Basement. You beat the former champion as a four-to-one underdog in your last fight. Um, do you feel like you're being overlooked in this fight, being a two-and-a-half-to-one underdog after such a good performance? Can you follow the... Você, você ganhou do, do campeão atual. Você sente como, assim, que você está sendo desvalorizado baseado assim, no que as casas de aposta estão dizendo é, entrando nessa luta aqui agora? Uh, I don't care, you know, my friends are making a lot of money in Brazil, put them on me. So keep me putting an underdog, I don't care. Fight is a fight when, when the door the cage is closed, are two guys with two hand closed, you know, I don't care. Put me on the underdog, underdog forever, my friends will make a lot of money in Brazil. For me, it's good. good. And are you planning on putting anything on yourself as well? I don't like to put money on myself, you know. It's, it's not for me. Right, put thank money you. in other fights, but not for me. Not on me. Ethan. Hey, Mateus. Ethan Albin, Tunnel Vision Sports. How did you feel camp went for this fight? So, in my gym, we never stopped training. Uh, I got this fight two, two weeks ago. And yeah, it was a good camp as 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 usual, you know. We never stopped training our gym. And yeah, it was good, always hard. And one last one for you. What do you make of Dennis's grappling ability? What do you make of Dennis's grappling ability? 
yeah, he's good. You know, he's good, and that's it. I don't want to. I, I don't think he's a, a huge fighter in this in his things. I, I think he's just good. Yeah. Dylan. Hey there, I appreciate you taking my call. I'm just kind of curious because your opponent is a former ACA heavyweight champion and has had a few different seasons through the PFL now. Like, what do you think he really brings to the table as an opponent? Like, what does he do well? And I don't care. We, we just tell him he's champion. I, 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 I don't care, you know. Fight is fight. Between me and him, it, that's it. Fair enough. And I'm also just curious as to your nickname, like just like what the meaning is, just the backstory and everything. <laughs> yeah, bro, there is that story, you know. Buffa in Brazil is is fight, you know. And uh, all my life I tried to to change this, this nickname, but I couldn't. So I made a tattoo, you know what I mean? The buffalo and then uh, uh Hey, what is Buffa? Because it's Buffalo thing, you know? But uh, it's Buffa because I, I fight. Everybody fight, brother. But I fight, I fight a lot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the insight. I hope, I, 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 for your voice, I think you fight a lot. You think I fight a lot? Yeah, for sure. You, 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 your, your voice tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to checking out your fight. Thanks for the insights, man. What? Oh, thanks. Um, uh, Eddie, go ahead. Hey, Matthew, thank you so much. Um, I actually wanted to ask you, so you're getting this fight on two weeks notice um, versus either a one night turnover and getting a new opponent or even having a full two months of a training camp to face someone. Do you find it as a more of a mental strain having less time or more time leading up to a fight? O que você vê como um desafio maior? Quando você tem um camp inteiro preparado para uma luta ou quando você entendeu meio que pega assim de última hora? Uh, when I have more time to train, you know, focus on uh, one guy, uh, you have more, more time to practice some details. Details, como é que fala? Details. So, uh, I think this is the, the the thing is if you have more time, but in the end of the day, brother, are two big guys with close hands, you know, and heavyweight, I need one hand to change the game, you know? Being Having more time is more time to, to get more cardio, but I'm, I'm, I'm good, you know, I'm good. Awesome, and then I have a fan question from Days Max. He wanted to know, being able to travel to different countries, um, currently in the UK, is there anything food-wise that you've had to be able to enjoy? Or are you still waiting for after weigh-in? Alguma coisa aí que você gostou? 